We're talking about movies. So I reached a point in my life today where I found myself sitting at a midday showing by myself of a children's movie, the Super Mario Bros. movie. I don't know what decisions in my life led me to this point, but uh, here we are. And I guess I need to look into that a little bit. But since I found myself there, might as well watch the movie. And I was very unimpressed. Now, I understand this is a children's movie, but I have come to a different kind of standard of, like, not all animation is kids' movies, you know. Animation can be really high cinema. I look at Into the Spider-Verse, which came out a few years ago. Across the Spider-Verse is coming out later this year. looks really good. Um, I thought that this movie might be fun and clever. It is very well shot. It's very, it's a lot of great imagery. If you're into Mario, you're gonna like that. But there is not a lot of story to this movie. There's not a lot going on. And I was just very unimpressed with the film. And that's not to say it's terrible. Like, I mean, it is fun. It has some fun aspects. I grew up playing, um, I wasn't like super into like the full on Mario games. Everybody's played Mario Kart. That's fun. Uh, Super Mario's Brothers Brawl, whatever the one is where they fight. So like, I like Mario. I like the characters. I think it's cool. I don't know a ton about the lore and everything. Um, I mean, I think that's for, for someone that grew up with that, you're going to see a lot of stuff you like. Uh, a lot of stuff you're familiar with. Uh, like I said, the movie shot well. I think all the voice actors do well. I'm not one of these people that um, rage quit over Chris Pratt being crass, cast as Mario. I thought he did a good job. Um, Jack Black did a really good job as Bowser. Uh, just a lot of the voices in there um, did a good job. But, like, it, there's not much to this movie. Like, it, it's fine. It's not the worst thing. I'm not offended by the movie, but by its quality, but I expect a little more coming out of... Uh, animation movies and I was just not blown away by this movie. I did leave the movie with a splitting headache. Now whether that is the fault of the movie or the fault of me not drinking enough water ever uh, to be determined, but the movie could have very easily given it to me. Recommendation, I cannot recommend that you spend your money on the Super Mario Bros. movie. Now if you have kids, I think kids would like it. Uh, there were a few kids in my theater, they seemed to laugh and enjoy it. Um, I didn't think, like I said, I, I didn't think it was terrible. I wasn't offended by it, but I would not spend my money on this if I were you. I would, like, if it comes out on streaming, go for it, watch it. It's only an hour and a half. It's an easy watch. Um, but I cannot recommend that you spend your hard-earned money on this film. But with all that said, if it tells you anything about the state of creativity and cinema. This movie is going to make a bajillion dollars. And I mean, good for it. I mean, I think Mario's cool. I mean, I'm not, like I said, not offended by the movie. Perfectly mediocre movie. Kids will love it, but I, like, just as an adult, maybe it's not for me. Maybe it's not my thing. Maybe I wanted a little more highbrow entertainment. I don't know. But like I said, I cannot recommend this movie to you. So that's my review of the Super Mario Bros. movie. Do you think I'm crazy? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comment section below if you think I'm stupid and my comments are pointless. Um, I'll be back soon with more reviews. I would appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Help us grow. Um, I'm going to be ranking some of the Disney Plus shows soon and the mediocrity that lies within that. So be sure to check out for that. Um, and just thank you guys for watching. Have a great week.